In this video, I will teach you a bunch of super helpful tips for farmland. From what you should do based on where you spawn, where the best PvP and looting spots are, and also the most efficient routes to take. Buckle up, this is a very detailed guide. But first, thank you to Arena Breakout for sponsoring this video. Let's kick it! Farmland is actually very well designed. It caters for a wide variety of playstyles and is incredibly easy to loot. It's best to bring an SMG or an assault rifle into this map. SMG will allow you to zoom around the map and close gaps on people easily and relatively safely. While assault rifles can offer both mid-range and close range but slower movement speed. Shotguns are great too if you ballsy. Snipers is a bit tricky though as there aren't really that many great sniping spots like in Valley in Northridge. Anyway, here's a picture of all the spawn locations and extraction zones in farmland. These are the standard extraction points and these are the conditional based extraction points. When I say conditional, these extraction points will have a specific rule set that you'll need to follow in order to extract from them. Now, depending on what you want to do, whether that's to find players to kill or loot in the shadows, the routes you take will vary. One thing to note is that the west side spawns are incredibly close to each other, turning trading posts into a mega hot zone. I'll give you both routes, I'll call searching for real players PvP and loot focused gameplay loot mode. Firstly, if you spawn on the west side of the map, you'll pretty much want to take the same route that will take you straight to stables. Unless you spawn here where you want to just rush the motel, upper west spawn. If you don't want to fight any players, hide then stay still for a few minutes. Because sometimes players from both these spawns will literally wait for you to run out and shoot you. If you want to PvP straight away, head for this artificial lake spawn. Keep an eye out on your right in the middle of the road though, because players from here might be headed the same way. Ideally, you don't want to push this spawn first, because more often than not, players that spawn here run inside these houses if you push them and if a teen spawns in the trading post they can quickly run upstairs and shoot you from these windows. Lower West Spawn For PvP, you want to head down here and listen out for movements on the other side of the wall for players from this spawn. If in loot mode, again stay in chill but stay alert. Teams from here might be waiting for you. If you don't hear any gunshots, there might be a super small amount of enemies that spawned in this area. So you want to be speedy and cut through this wall, but check your sights for enemies and dash towards this door and then loot the main building. Inside trading post spawn. For PvP, rush to the main building, go upstairs and hold, use the windows to check these spawns and shoot players from the inside like I mentioned earlier. You can't even shoot players camping and peeking in this house if you have an AR or a sniper. For loot mode though, obviously just rush straight into the main building, head upstairs and loot and then dip. I wouldn't bother looting the bottom floor unless you're super confident the area is clear. It's very easy to get rushed down here because there's so many teams and there's so many entrances. South trading post spawn. For PvP you can head towards this wall as the team that spawned over here sometimes pushes towards your spawn of the trading post. So you'll see or hear them straight away. If they go inside the house, one of your teammates can provide cover fire behind this wall and shoot enemies peeking these windows while the rest of the team pushes closer to the house. Be careful of these trading post windows though you're very much out in the open in some areas leading up to the houses. Looting mode. This one's super easy. Just dash straight to this building, follow the wall to the right and go into the main building through this entrance. You can go through this door too but sometimes enemies from here rush super quick and might catch the last person in your team trying to enter the building. Not good. Artificial lake spawn. For PvP, your only option really is to head down for trading post main building and run upstairs. It's just gonna get really messy trying to fight a squad v squad fight in this tight path. Nades can easily wipe you so don't bother waiting here. For loot, head straight to stables. Graveyard spawn. For this spawn, honestly just rush straight to the motel because not only will you get first dibs on the good loot, you'll also be at the hottest spot of the map where most players always go to and to be fair, there's also a locked door here that needs this key. So if you have that key, dash there and then head straight to the motel. After you clear and loot trading posts from any of the starting spawns, check for players on the artificial lakeside hill as it's time to go to the next hot zone. Subscribe! Alright, what you want to do is pretty simple. Head down this north side path towards stables. I normally rush stables before the motel if I'm loot focused. It's small, it has one free safe, one advanced weapon case, a grenade box and a locked room. 
super quick and easy to clear the bots and loot. Oh, and players normally rush motel first. So if you hear gunshots there, stables is most likely peaceful to be looted. Sometimes you can even rush upstairs and not trigger the bots. From here, we dash straight to the motel over this small bridge. Check for players before coming out of this fence though, especially on this broken bridge for snipers. Motel entry will always depend on where the enemies are, if any. If you're confident that there are no enemies inside or there's only a small chance, hop down this wall and head straight for the hole in the wall entrance. I normally stop behind this box for a few seconds to listen for footsteps inside. From here, go through the hole, go left, up the stairs and rush straight to the safe before your teammates do. If they get there first, grenade them. Ooh, I kid, I kid. As far as defensive tactics from inside the motel goes, normally when enemies realize that there are enemies inside the motel, they don't rush straight inside. They figure out a way in first. This basically gives you a chance to position yourself inside and hold different angles. Plenty of positions to see the outside from the inside on both top and bottom floor. Moving on. Once you loot the motel, you have two options. Number one, if you and your team have no more space for loot or you just want to extract early for whatever reason, use this extraction point under the bridge. This extract costs 2000 coin to extract from and each team member has to pay. This is a one-time use extract only though, so sometimes it may not be available if someone's already used it. Super convenient for early extraction. Number two, Head straight for the villa through the wheat field. Also, real player scabs will start turning up that could kill and rob you. So yeah, be careful. In the villa house, there is a locked room on a second floor that needs this key. There's also some cabinets and jackets that you definitely need to loot. By the way, always search jackets and cabinets. You can sometimes find things like watches and keys in here that sells for thousands of coins each. Also, I promise you not everyone knows this. You can open and loot individual cabinet drawers. I swear to God, some people still don't actually know this. You're welcome. Once you clear out the villa, feel free to extract. Or go to this helicopter crash site and loot the airdrop there, especially if your only extract is here. However, this airdrop is easily accessible by people from these spawns, so chances are it's already looted. But sometimes it's not, so try your luck if you want. A lot to take in, right? What about the routes for the spawns on the right side of the map? Subscribe for the next episode.